Hi everyone, welcome back to Mommy's Kitchen. As Eid is around the corner, I thought of sharing one of the most rich and special sweet dessert that's almost everyone's favorite. That's Sheer Kurma. Many of my family and friends have been requesting me to share this recipe in my mom's style as she is known to be the best sheer kurma maker in our entire family and community. You will be also surprised to know that she never uses any milk made khoya, mawa or condensed milk to prepare this iconic dish. Yet it tastes super delicious and stands out to be the best sheer kurma. So let's learn how to make this rich and iconic dish at home in a simple way in my mom's style. Also we'll be sharing few tips on how to make instant sheer kurma. So do watch the video until end. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon for receiving notification for all my upcoming videos. Also share it with your family and friends. So let's start. First step is preparing the dry fruits or nuts. For that, Add 1 cup of almonds or badam into a bowl. Add sufficient water and soak for 5 to 6 hours. Then, add a cup of pistachio or pista into a bowl and similarly add sufficient water and soak for an hour or two. As pistachio skin are tender compared to almonds, so it requires less soaking hours. After 2 hours, gently squeeze the skin of pistachio and it will come off easily. Repeat the process with all the pistachios. All pistachios are done now. So keep it aside. Then after a couple of hours, peel the skin of almonds gently and repeat the process with all the almonds. I have seen many of them blanching or boiling the nuts. I personally don't prefer to do that way as it will make the nuts softer. I once tried doing that way however I didn't taste as best as this shir kurma does. As this is the traditional way of preparing the nuts even though it takes time but it's worth the taste it gives. Almonds are done, so keep it aside. Once almonds and pistachios are done, it's time to clean and wash the cashews. For that add cashew into a bowl and add sufficient water, wash the cashews and strain off excess water. All our nuts are cleaned and washed. We need to Pat dry to remove excess water, however there is still lot of moisture left. So the best way is to dry up naturally. Place these plates under a fan and allow it to dry up, it might take couple of hours. After couple of hours, you can see almonds, cashews and pistachios are dried up completely and no moisture is left out. This is perfect. Next step is slicing the nets. There are three ways to do. Either you can slice on a mini slicer by individually slicing each nuts one by one or you can also use a knife. The second way is to use a mortar and pestle and crush the nuts. Traditionally this is the best way and my mom follows this way. There is one more way. That's the fast way is chopping in a chopper. However, you need to be very careful as we don't need to make it into a fine powder. It needs to be chopped roughly as we need to see slices of each nuts. For that, pulse the grinder just 1 to 2 seconds each time and repeat for few times as constantly pulsing will powder the nuts which we don't want. Hence we need to pay a lot of attention if we are adapting this easiest way. Our nuts are chopped nicely as you can see. 
small to medium pieces transfer it to a plate and then repeat the process with the remaining nuts All nuts are chopped nicely as you can see small to medium pieces There is no powdery texture here I can feel each and every pieces Now store it into an airtight container and you can refrigerate it as it will stay longer for couple of months and you can use it whenever you need It looks so perfect. Now let's move on in making the sheer kurma. For that, preheat a pan and to it add one liter of full fat milk. Keep the flame on low to medium. And allow the milk to come to a boil. Once milk starts to boil, lower the flame and keep stirring regularly until it thickens and comes down to half a quantity creams or malai starts forming here gently spread it to the sides keep stirring often now milk has reduced to half liter and has thickened up so at this stage switch off the flame and keep it aside Let's move on to the next step that's tempering which is one of the most important step in making the sheer kurma for that heat a white pan keep the flame to the lowest and add in 1 tsp of desi ghee or clarified butter allow it to melt and then to it add 1/4 tsp of cardamom powder Still the flame is on low. Mix well and then add half a cup of mixed nuts which is around 3 tablespoon and roast it until it turns golden color. Very important point to note here is the flame should be on very low and you need to stir continuously as this step will make your dish taste delicious. Any negligence will lead to burning of nuts. and it won't taste good as you can see i have used only 1/4 quantity of the prepared nuts the secret tip to making instant sheer kurma is store it in a refrigerator whenever you carve to have a sheer kurma just take out this nuts and go ahead and make it isn't it simple nuts are roasted well now it's time to add a thickened milk so add it and mix well and cook for 5 minutes flame is still on low keep stirring regularly once it starts to boil at this stage you need to add half a cup of sugar or as per your taste sweet taste and mix well Now cook for a minute. Then it's time to add a roasted vermicelli or sevaiya. That's one fourth cup, and mix well, and cook for five minutes until vermicelli or sevaiya is cooked. Keep stirring regularly. Sheer kurma thickens up when it cools down so i suggest make it to the right consistency or else just add a cup of milk if required there are different variations of making a sheer kurma as many add different types of dry fruits according to their taste and preference however this is my favorite one after 5 minutes you can see nuts vermicelli are well cooked and a deliciously tempting and mouth watering sheer kurma is ready 
Hope you enjoyed this Eid special Sheer Kurma recipe. Do try it out, this absolutely delicious Sheer Kurma and leave your comments below. Soon we will be coming up with another interesting recipe. Until then take care and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep sharing. Thanks for watching, happy cooking, take care, bye bye.